Hello friends, welcome to this session of R in 5 minutes. I am Rajendra Rachavre from the Institute of Science, Mumbai. In previous session, we learned, we discussed why to study R. In this session, we will learn how to install R on our computer or anywhere. For that, you have to follow these instructions. Two softwares are necessary for R. One is a proper R programming language and other is R Studio IDE. IDE is not required, it's optional, but it provides you uh, other facilities or help to code easily. It makes coding easy as compared to coding in the R console. Hmm? Now we'll move further to install R. Open an R internet browser or go to www.rproject.org. We'll do that. And for um, R Studio ID also, we'll go go to Google and uh, we'll install from the Google. First will go for the R programming download. R programming download here. Download R 3.63 for Windows. And as I'm using Windows system, I will show you how to install on Windows. If you are using Mac, then on Mac also similar strategy can be used. But you have to download the exe for Mac. Here, this exe is there. Download R 3.6.3 for Windows. It's for both systems 32 and 64 bit, therefore download it. And while it is downloading, you can go to R Studio download, R Studio download. Okay, then click here to download R Studio. Web page will open. Here it asks you to choose your version, and these different versions are there to download. And I will recommend this free one because you are learning now. Therefore, free will be very useful for your learning process. Now, here this download for Windows is there. Windows, I will click here. Windows 10, 8 and 7 for versions and download has been started for our studio. And this download will be there in my uh, download folder. Okay, these two downloads are there. And when, when these two downloads get completed, you have to double click the R programming uh, exe file first. Install as suggested in the message boxes. Uh, operating system will instruct you how to install that during installation process. And same thing you shall follow, you will follow for uh, R Studio installation also. Uh, double click on the R Studio installation file and uh, follow the instructions. Uh, R Studio will get in installed. And when your installation is complete, go to your uh, start menu and type there R Studio. R Studio and click here R Studio will open. And here I have kept that open. Okay. Now you will start here. Click file, get new file and go to R script. This is R Studio interface. In that, this is the script window. Here your script will be there. Then uh, when you run the script, you run the script means uh, you code here, play, press run button and your uh, code will go to console window here. And your code will run here, results will be shown here. And when you declare any object here, that object will be stored and will be shown here into global environment. And other files necessary, uh, this is file explorer, here your plots will be there, the packages installed will be here. Then uh, help will appear here, view will appear here. Okay. And <clears throat> we'll learn this as we go on. But to start with, we will start using R as calculator. Each programming language can be used as calculator and is the best starting point to use to learn programming language first as calculator and then in next session go to advanced things. Here in R, we'll use it as calculator. We'll go for 
addition first this is the script which we have written here we will comment out when we put hash the material text after hash will not be used for uh, compilation or for uh, running the program it will be used as comment here i will write that it's an addition okay now it's uh, the comments are not necessary on next line we will not go for the comments when i press run for this line it has run now this is the line which i have coded and 3 plus 4 the result of this line is here okay we will go for another one we will go for subtraction and i will click the run button run now with this run code is sent to the console and the code will run in the console here 3 minus 4 result is minus 4 okay now we will go for multiplication this is the multiplication operator 3 and 4 and uh, short keyboard shortcut is also there control enter is the keyboard shortcut and i will mostly use this keyboard shortcut instead of this mouse shortcut yeah. because uh, mouse shortcut i think that it's a laborious process okay. 3 multiplied by 4 is to go is equal to 12 the result is here okay now we'll see division if we want entire division then this is the operator 3 4 okay. we'll run it Okay, 0 0.75 is the answer but when you want remainder you have to use this operator 2% science this is called as modulus operator okay. in modulus operator uh, remainder of the division will be given here and here when I want remainder of 3 divided by 4 that remainder shall be 3 okay that remainder is 3 now here I will go for to find out the uh, quotient of this division 3 divided by 4 uh, for the quotient this operator is this percent slash percent okay. I will run it control enter okay the quotient here is 0 uh, to know about quotient will divide 5 by 4 and we'll run it okay the quotient is 1 okay. uh, we'll try to know about remainder also 4 remainder is also one of this division 1 Okay. Now, this is these are the basic mathematical operators. Okay. Uh, addition is there, subtraction is there, multiplication is there, division is there, then for division modulus operator is there, quotient operator is there. These are the operators and these are the uh, mathematical operations we, which we can do. But uh, other relational operators are also there. There we use these operators to determine relation between uh, different numbers or objects. Objects, anything in R is considered that as objects. We'll learn about that later on. Here, relation operators, relational operators it is to be. And here we'll say 3 is greater than 4. It's not the condition that shall be false. Okay, 3 is not greater than 4. Here, 3 is less than 4. This shall be true. It's true. Here, I will use 3 is equal to 4. This is equal to, we need to have this equal sign two times. You have to remember, when we want matching, we, when we want to use it as a relational operator, we shall have this equal to sign two times. Okay. Then, when I run this line, control enter, 3 is not equal to 4. If we want to know whether 4 is equal to 4, I will run it. Yeah, 4 is equal to 4. That's true one. And uh, another operator is also there that is not equal to 3 is not equal to 4. That is true. True. Yeah. Another operators are also there which are greater than or equal to. Equal to sign shall always be after the greater than. Okay, and this shall be false. Okay, 3 is less than or equal to 4. This shall be true. Okay, or uh, if you want to say 3 is less than or equal to 3, that is true. 3 is greater than or equal to 3, that shall be true. Yep, yeah. these are one. Another group of operators in R are uh, logical operators. 
Okay, we learn about logical logical operators later on in next session when we require those. These are the basic things which are required to be learned about R operators and to use R as a, a programming tool for statistics. Okay. Here we will introduce uh, a concept called as uh, object. We said that, and in R, many different type of objects are there. We we'll learn about uh, those objects. The first object we we'll learn as vector. Vector. Here I will put the comment sign that is the hash vectors. Then atomic vectors are there. Atomic vectors. Yeah. And then lists are the objects data frame is the object in r matrix are the object in r when the different matrices are there then uh, r have arrays also and vectors are one dimensional they have just one dimension atomic vectors are one dimension and lists and those have multiple dimensions also then uh, data frame are two dimensional matrices are two dimensional arrays are multi dimensional things and we will learn about this in next video okay. i hope you have learnt well about uh, how to use r as calculator uh, what are the mathematical operators available in r what are the relational operators available in r and i promised you that in the next sessions we will learn about uh, different things uh, like uh, different objects uh, vectors lists data frames matrix and arrays and we will learn this very briefly and we will learn more as we go on using these objects later on if you have liked this lecture please uh, subscribe it hit the like button if you want notifications then click the uh, bell icon and please share this with your friends who want to learn r thank you